Welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced English Grammar Course. This lesson is on parallel structure and flow. Let's get started. All right, we begin, as always, with a brief lesson overview. We're going to look at the question, what is flow? When somebody says your sentences need to flow more, what do they mean? Well, they usually mean parallel structure, correct placement of modifiers, and avoiding fragments. So we're going to go through all of those things, and then we're going to do some practice. All right, what is flow? Writers and English teachers use the term flow to describe sentences that seem to run smoothly, with no unexpected breaks or grammatical oddities or awkward uses of the English language. The idea that a sentence flows means that you read through it and your eyes just slide right through it to the end and you get the meaning and you don't stop to look at how the sentence is put together or why did they say that or there's nothing to pull you out. It's like water flowing through a stream. It looks like one continuous continuous thing from a distance. Now, flow is largely a matter of practice, but there are several key elements that you must get right, absolutely must, in order to achieve it. If you want your sentences to flow, there are some pitfalls you absolutely have to avoid. Here they are, and here's how to avoid them. All right, the first thing you need to know about is parallel structure. English loves parallelism, because we have such a large vocabulary in this language, such a large lexicon, and so many different ways to say things. We like it, perversely, when things line up and they're kind of similar and the same. It helps us remember what's been said. So we love sentences with parallel structure. If you can possibly phrase items on a list or similar ideas within a collection in a similar grammatical form, do so. Basically, the idea is if you've got a whole bunch of things that are all in a category together, try to say them in approximately the same way. So, here's a sentence that's not parallel. Please go to the store and buy milk, eggs, and a loaf of bread. Okay. It's not a bad sentence. There's nothing wrong with it except that your brain is going milk, eggs, and a loaf of bread. And you stumble all over it, and you just sit there going, wait. There's something not quite right about that sentence. Well, I'll tell you what's not quite right about that sentence. It's that you've got a loaf of bread when everything else is just milk and eggs. Short, short, long and clunky. So what you do is you make it parallel, and there are two ways to do it. You could just say, please go to the store and buy milk, eggs, and bread. Nice, smooth list. Very parallel. It's also parallel to say, please go to the store and buy a gallon of milk a carton of eggs, and a loaf of bread. Either of those will work just beautifully. The important thing is to be consistent, to be parallel. Let's look at another example. It's not parallel to say good writing includes good spelling, grammar, and punctuating. Why is this wrong? Well, quite simply because if you are talking about the concepts, okay, you're using them like nouns. Spelling, even though it ends with ing, is also a name for an academic subject and the practice of spelling words correctly. It's a gerund, which is a verb ending in ing, that gets used like a noun, okay? Grammar is a noun. Punctuating, unfortunately, is not a gerund. If we want to talk about the practice of using punctuation marks correctly, we say punctuation. So what we did in this sentence is we went, thing that acts like a noun, thing that is a noun, thing that's definitely not a noun. Well, now we're all confused and dissatisfied and unhappy. So let's make it parallel so that all of your English listeners can go, oh, that's nice, yay, and on we go. It's parallel to say, good writing includes good spelling, grammar, and punctuation. It flows nicely from beginning to end, and nobody gets any nasty surprises. All right, modifiers. What is a modifier to begin with? A modifier is any word or phrase that modifies another word or phrase. It's a word or group 